We're doing solving equations with variables on both sides. This is going to be a, an exp explanation of how you can solve these. So you're going to solve not every single one of these, but you are going to solve these in a way to go from your start to your finish. It could take you five tries, it could take you ten. There's really, we don't know where you're going to go with this. So if you're like, hey, how am I going to show work? Well, you could take out a separate sheet of paper and you can write down each of the equations that you must solve. So the first equation that you must solve is this one right here. It's negative one-fourth plus one-fourth x is equal to x plus one-half. So in order to solve this, you're going to need to get rid of all the fractions or the decimals. And so we see a four and a two. Now we know that they have they share a common multiple, so we're going to multiply by either 4 or 2. Now the hint is always multiply by the bigger one. So we're going to multiply by 4. So if I multiply by 4 on one side, I have to multiply by 4 on the other side. I like to use different colors so that you can see the work as I'm going through this. So 4 times 1 fourth is 1, but it's a negative, so it's a negative 1. And 4 times 1 fourth is 1, but it's actually 1x. Now we don't really need to write the 1, we could just write x is equal to 4 times x is 4x, and half of 4 is the same thing as 4 times a half. Half of 4 is 2, so we write it like that. And now we do a quick check. Any more decimals or fractions? Nope, so we don't need to do another fraction blast. Combine like terms? Nope. Well, how about we move the smallest variable? We're going to minus x on both sides. x minus x is 0, so we're left with negative 1 on this side. 4x minus x is 3x, plus 2. Now we're going to minus 2 on both sides to isolate, to get that x alone. So we're going to minus 2 on both sides, and we get 3x is equal to negative 3. Now x is almost alone, so we're going to divide by 3 on both sides. And we get negative 1 is equal to x. Cool, we solved it. And so you'll see on your slides that you have to do a couple things. One, you're going to be drawing some arrows that are going to be, well, you're going to copy and paste some arrows and it's going to post there. And your next one, next question that you have to do, the next equation, is this 27 over negative 8 plus 2n? And then you would just start doing this problem. Now, highly unlikely that you're going to have to do this one, but you're going to figure out which of these answers is correct for this one. All right. Good luck, period six. I believe in you. You have until Friday to complete this.